everybody, my name is Erica and I am here to talk to you about my stitching, my horrific flight home with my kids for my vacation, my Etsy shop, I have a new bag and a new charity pattern coming out and I have the flosses and the pattern finished and who knows what else. Um, if you're new, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the video and I always start off what by talking a little bit about my family and just my life and if you want to skip straight to stitching, I don't blame you. And I'll have a timestamp below in the description box. It'll say, I'll start talking about stitching at seven minute mark, whatever, so you can fast forward. For my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much. I always miss you. I love doing these videos, even though I'm so tired today. Um, my son woke me up at five o'clock in the morning. And of course I didn't go back to sleep till like 5.30. And then again at 6.30 to show me his puppy poo. <laughs> he got a stuffed animal at Hobby Lobby yesterday. I really try hard not to spoil my kids. And when we go places and they constantly ask for things, I tell them no probably half the time. The other half the time, if it's like Walmart or grocery shopping, which is totally boring for them, I'll let them pick out a Hot Wheel. So it's a dollar. So they get a Hot Wheel. We have tons of Hot Wheels. Um, but yesterday at Hobby Lobby, I was not going to get them anything because we're trying to be really good with money right now. And I caved. Um, they had a bunch of their kids. Oh, I should have brought them up here. Their kids craft sets on clearance. So if you have little kids, it's in the cross stitch aisle, which is the only reason why he even saw them. It's not with the regular arts and crafts and kids stuff. Um, and he found one and it was like how to make it a carrying case. It's pink. I mean, it's obviously geared for girls, but it can be whatever gender. Uh, but it was a pink carrying case, like pink and camo and a puppy put in the case. So he saw the puppy, he was like, mom, can, can I get this little guy and bring him home? He always calls all his little friends, little guys. And I was like, nobody, I told you we're not getting anything today. We're sticking to a budget. We gotta go in and go out. And he's like, but he's so lonely. I don't wanna leave him here by himself. I'm like, oh my God, he will be fine, stop. So I was picking some threads and then I turn around and he is legit crying. Not the, I wanna get my way and I'm crying, but the actual like, I'm very upset. And this is really sad to me. I was like, oh my God. It's fine, it's $4.97, it's normally 20 bucks. I said, whatever, I feel so bad. And then my daughter had to get something. So I got her a loom set, which is way above her age, she's two. This is probably, I don't even know if my four year old could do this. But again, it was clearance from 20 to five bucks. So I was like, I'm just gonna hold on to it for a while, she won't forget about it, and it's gonna be a Christmas present in like two years, or my son will have it, I don't know. So I think her name's Olivia, and maybe she goes by Liv, but Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Uh, I talked to her via Instagram yesterday because I was stalking her and I posted my tag that I was watching her and she was like, oh, thanks and hope you had a great flight home. And I was like, <laughs> I had a horrible flight home and I will talk about it tomorrow on Floss too. So we went to Florida for five days last week for my kids' birthdays. Their birthdays are on the 10th and the 13th of September. And my husband was in Alabama finishing up a training course. Um, he's a Black Hawk pilot for the Army and he was there learning how to be a safety officer and my parents live two hours south of where he's at in Fort Rucker so my mom and my dad very graciously got us tickets to go down there I had not been home in four years I was so excited we had the most amazing time my kids do okay on planes I I know my kids well enough to know how to handle and how to prepare them so like I wear their butts out in the airport I let them run up and down empty aisles where no one's at and they're not bothering anybody I chase them I play tag we play games in the airport. Um, I bring lots of snacks because my kids are like, as long as they've got food, they're happy. Um, I come prepared. So the flights there were good. The flight home was a disaster. So we flew from Florida to Atlanta, 45 minutes. That one went pretty good. An hour lay over there and then from Atlanta to Colorado Springs. My daughter had been having some tummy issues in Florida. The change of diet, not probably drinking as much, definitely not eating as many vegetables. Um, so I should have brought more diapers with me the day that we flew. I brought three for a six hour period of travel. Three. I thought that that would be more than sufficient. That's about, you know, she goes through maybe three or four a day now. It was not sufficient. So as soon as we get to the airport in Florida, she used the bathroom and I had to change her. So down to two diapers. We get to the layover in Atlanta, and right before we're getting on the second plane, she used the bathroom again, I had to change her. I was actually like, they were boarding, and I don't board first, but they always like, oh, kids with 
or a parent of the young kids can board first. I'm like, I'm not gonna sit on this plane any longer than I have to with these two kids in a confined space. Absolutely not. I am usually like the last one on the plane. Um, so we were the last one in line and I told her, I was like, can I just change her? Like, I'll literally change her right here, but she pooped and I have to change her. And she was like, you guys have time, go to the bathroom. I was like, okay, thanks. So we went, changed her, got on the plane. 10 minutes of being on a plane, the last flight home, three, two and a half hour flight, she used the bathroom again. So she was on her last diaper, yeah. Well, on her last diaper and she pooped, so I had to change her. If I don't, she gets a horrible rash if she sits in it for even like 10 minutes. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And it wasn't the solid kind that you could just like dispose of and reuse the diaper. I'm trying not to be like, if you guys are squeamish about this, I'm a mom, this is like what I do every day. This is all I talk about now. So I go back there and of course, like the flight attendants are sitting there and I was like, you guys don't happen to have any diapers, like emergency diapers, do you? And they're like, no. And I was like, well, you need to <laughs> for moms, like who plan ahead and brought three diapers for a six hour period and went through three of them in two hours. Um, and she was like, well, why don't you just use a pad? I was like, seriously? She's like, yeah, there's some in there. I was like, okay. I mean, it's like the only option I have. Oh, and she had it gotten it on her outfit. So I had brought a spare outfit, thankfully. I brought, so I would go in the bathroom. You guys, the airplane bathrooms, I mean, I kid you not. I couldn't even, I'm not a big person. I'm 5'2". I, you can't put your arms past this. There was a changing table that like folded out, but it was like this big. And then of course my son had to come with me because I asked, I asked him, I said, hey, do you want to hang out here or do you want to come with me? He's like, I want to go with you. I was like, okay, awesome, great. I'm glad I asked you, you should just stay there. So he's behind me and he can't even move around. And I'm changing her and I'm trying to wipe her off and I'm putting her in a new outfit. And then I'm like, should I just trash the other outfit? Because I don't want to hold on to this poopy outfit, but it wasn't that poopy and it was a really cute outfit. So I just put it, I had a zippered plastic bag. Like, see, I come prepared and I put it in there. I literally worked up again. It was so stressful. <laughs> Changed her, put the little pad in her onesie. We go back out there. Five minutes later, she pees. And before we left the bathroom, my son had to pee, which I couldn't even get him in front of me to the bathroom. Like, I don't even, I think we maybe opened the door and had him go, and then I had to pee. It was a disaster. We go and we sit down, and she pees. So she's got pee all over her outfit all over the seat on the airplane. I was like, oh my God, this is so unsanitary. Like these people are gonna need to like go burn this plane seat after I leave. So I wipe it up, I have my little baby wipes. I put, I wrap her, I brought a blanket, I brought my kid's favorite blanket from home and I sit her on my lap. I'm, I'm covered with pee, she's covered with pee. I'm just like, this is a disaster, but it gets worse. It actually could get worse. Cause that was only the first 15 minutes of the flight. So they are so overstimulated. I mean, they're, they were, Two, one and three when we left and there were four and two coming home so they're very little a week of traveling a week of being away from home a week of new foods a week of too much sugar a week of not having their same bedtimes a week of no naps for my one-year-old and they don't sleep on the plane my kids have never ever 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 slept on the plane and they rarely sleep in the car like everyone's like oh the kids will just sleep when they're tired just live your life I'm like no I can't they don't sleep when they're tired they just go berserk when they're tired so my kids started going berserk. They, my son started like kicking the seat in front of him, not on purpose, but mostly he was like kicking his legs because he was just getting antsy. This is gonna be the longest video ever. I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not even sorry. I have to get this out of me. And I kept on, you can't kick the seat, stop. Like you're, it's rude, the person in front of you, you're getting, you're bothering him. So he would stop because he's not trying to be rude. He was just antsy. My daughter wanted down when the seatbelt light was on and she couldn't get down and she was throwing things and like screaming and crying in her seat. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got a couple looks. I don't blame them. My daughter was going ballistic. I mean, nothing I was doing was happy. I'd give her a treat, she'd throw it. I'd give her a toy, she'd throw it. She All she wanted was out of that seat and to walk around the airplane and we couldn't do it. Like one of the times was on descent and she just, she was just screaming. And I think people could see, like I was trying my best with both of these kids but I was, there was nothing I could do. And I, I was like, I'm just gonna have to let her just cry. And I felt so bad. She never does this. Like, I mean, she can throw a tantrum, but she never cries like that. Like, I, they just were done. At one point she threw something and the guy next to us 
picked it up it was her oh her bottle oh my gosh she threw a bottle i was like i'm so sorry thank you and then like an hour later she threw her shoe and it landed on his backpack and he didn't see and i was like that's it you're just not getting your shoe back i'm sick of this like i'm so sick of you guys throwing everything and acting like wild animals and the shoe was falling apart anyways like the jelly shoes that were five bucks i was like you're done. i'm just not getting your shoe back so when we landed he gave us a shoe and i was like i'm so sorry thank you and he's like you were great and i told him i said my kids are normally really well behaved like they're just so overstimulated and i guess he's a manager at chick-fil-a and he gave me some cards for free meals I was like, thank you. My kids love Chick-fil-A. I felt so bad. So anyways, that was our flight home. It really could have been worse. Oh, the lighting is weird now because it, I woke up. So like I said, I woke up at six o'clock in the morning thanks to my son when I headed to the video. And they're supposed to wake up here in about 20 minutes, but I'm just gonna let them sleep in a little bit because mommy needs some me time. And right now me time is lost too. And I need to talk to my friends. <sighs> Otherwise, we had a really good week. It's been very good to be back home. We went to the zoo. We went to a homeschooling meetup for the first time. Um, we've been homeschooling for like a year and a half, which I know is insane. My son was like two and a half. I use the term very loosely. Obviously, we're not doing a curriculum with him. I was just teaching him letters and colors and shapes and doing arts and crafts and reading educational books. And that's that's it. That, that's what we do. That's what we that's homeschool for us right now. Um, so we went to a homeschooling group and met the most amazing family. I was so excited. The mom was super awesome and fun and nice to talk to. And her kids were amazing and well behaved and didn't push and hit and bite my kids like a lot of other kids do. Um, it was great. I'm so excited. I really hope we see them again soon. Okay. That might be it for my chit chat. So that's 1125. Thank you guys for those of you who hung in with me and didn't get halfway through and then look down to see when the timestamp was because you didn't want to hear me talk anymore. I don't blame you. Um, I'm just weird. The, like the lighting, see the shadows. It's whatever. It is what it is. These are my pajamas. It is what it is. I am doing my best. I am trying my best today. <laughs> I have oh no I left one whip downstairs Ooh, whatever my Christmas tree farm by Prairie Schooler I did get a little bit of progress on it today or this week I'll post a picture on Instagram follow if you follow me on Instagram Erica E-R-I-C-A D the letter D H-O-U-S-E I would love to see it on Instagram I am on it a couple times a day I try to update Instagram stories more than I do the pictures um, but I'll post a picture of it today I just worked on it a little bit the, the project I worked on the most is tiny modernist medieval castle I'll show you the pattern first also I'm thinking about doing a whip parade sometime soon like maybe this week during my kids nap sometime because I have like eight maybe eight I think I have eight total but I haven't worked on like five of them in weeks, if not months. So you guys haven't seen them in forever. So I was like, maybe I'll just do like a short whip parade. So this is um, Medieval Castle by Tiny Modernist, available only through Lakeside Needlecraft. It's a UK based seller, um, but you can get the PDF for it, which is what I did. And it is amazing. It is, I, I think, I feel like I've said amazing 20 times today. Sorry guys. Um, it is phenomenal. It is fantastic. It is stupendous. Oh my gosh, that's the, I don't know why this reminded me of that. The other reason I'm so tired is I stay up till one o'clock in the morning watching a documentary about Walt Disney. I'm like Disney obsessed. I've, I'm always kind of Disney obsessed and I meant to wear my Pandora bracelet that's all Disney charms, a la Real Housewives of Presage. Um, but I've been watching this documentary. It took me two weeks to finish it. It was like a four hour documentary and I'd watch a little bit every night and then fall asleep. And I finally was like, Oh, really awake last night for some reason I watched like an hour of it and I think I fell asleep the last 10 minutes so I gotta rewatch that um, but he he was a genius I mean a genius brilliant just uh, it's just surreal to realize how profound Snow White really was when it was first released or what Song of the South was really like when it was released um, what Disneyland was like when it opened in 1955 like it's just I, I cannot wait to go to Disney World Fingers crossed, like I said. Um, oh my gosh, my husband's texting me about fly fishing. That's all he talks about. Um, I, I really enjoyed staying up and watching it, and it was well worth it. Okay, I don't know what, where that came from, but... Oh, and when my son woke me up at 5 o'clock in the morning, I spent the next 30 minutes looking at Disney Dreams cross -stitch on eBay because I really want to do a very, very nice, not a cartoonish, but a really nice 
oh my gosh, Travis, <laughs> more text messages, a really nice um, cross stitch for Disney. And the only patterns that I have found that I really liked are the Disney Dreams one, the Thomas Kincaid art. I am not spending two to three hundred dollars on the full size ones. They have small ones that are like five by sevens that are anywhere from like 30 to 60 bucks that I like, but I still can't imagine doing that. If anybody out there, and I know that this is a very, very, very slim chance, if anybody out there has a Disney Dreams chart, the castle in particular is the one that I really want, but just the just the castle. But even the one with Beauty and the Beast overlooking things, I think there's one with Mickey, the, I, the, the big ones, like 11 by 13s, and you want to let me borrow it. I will take better care of it than I do my children, and I promise to have it done in three months and send it back to you. If you want to sell it to me for less than $100, we could talk to. But even then, I really, like I said, we're trying to be really good with money. <laughs> I did just buy a, a couple cross-stitch things. I had a gift card. Our anniversary was last week, uh, five years. And so I had a gift card, and I bought two patterns and some thread and my and the cloth to start doing my Egyptian chatelaine. So I should have a lot of haul next week to show you. I got a bunch of fancy floss, too, to try out for some patterns that I'm thinking of doing, um, designing. Okay. This is Tiny Modernist Medieval Castle. I am so obsessed with this right now. And this is pretty much all I worked on this week. I am finished with the interior, except for back stitching. And so I just need to finish up a little here, a little on the tree, and then this side. I miscounted somewhere over here. I mean, it's one too tall right there, but even that's not it. Like this whole section is a little bit miscounted. I don't know how much I'm gonna rip out because it's pretty much all brown. This is the main door to the castle right here. So I'm go I know that this is counted right because it was just two rows of the same brown color. Um, so I'm just gonna start working up and then eventually I'm gonna kind of see where the miscount was and I just rip these four out and I'm gonna make, make it work. I'm, I'm surprised by how colorful this is. I mean, I, I have the thread pack, so obviously I knew what colors were included, but just when it's actually put down, it is so beautiful, and I think my it's for my daughter's room, so I'm gonna put her name and birth date um, underneath it. I'm gonna do a Super Mario Brothers one for my son. I need to get that pattern and start working on it. I might give this to them for Christmas, but at the same time, they're gonna open it and be like, this isn't toys, why are you giving this to me? So, I don't know. Um, like I said, I still have back stitching to do that's gonna like connect the chandelier, outline the chairs, the fireplace. Yeah, I, I love it so much. It is so pretty. A lot of color changes, but nothing crazy. I mean, I started this in Florida, so this has been a week and a half worth of progress. And I want to say there were six rooms total, and then the turrets at the top, and then a dragon. So I should be, I'm going to finish it this year. I say that, and then watch me put it away, and then I'm not going to work on it again for like three months, which is apparently what I like to do. Um, oh, the cat, the fabric is 28 count Bluebell Jobelin. Yeah, and I hate it. I mentioned last time, it's rectangles, it's not squares. And it's just make, it's driving me crazy. I mean, it's very, very much rectangles. Maybe I'll try to get a picture of that posted on Instagram too. I like the color, but I just don't like those rectangles. And it's also so soft that I, I can't stitch in hand, which is not a huge deal. I just use my hands. Um, so my only other whip that I have to show you guys I guess apparently this is just more of a listen to Erica complain about her flight video. Sorry. I do have some other cute things to show, but not much and not stitching related. This is Jack Frost Tree Farm. And now that I look at it, I, I don't think I really did. I think the only thing that I did since the last time you guys saw it was the windows. I told you, like I've just been all about the medieval castle. I haven't wanted to work on anything else but this or but that. But I am loving how this is going. This is on 28 count coffee, tea dyed, Monaco. I love the fabric. I love the fancy floss that I'm using for this. Um, like I said in my previous video, I started doing this before the Jack Frost Tree Farm using DMC, a mix of DMC and fancy floss. And I would absolutely recommend you only use the DMC except for white. Or, only use fancy floss for this, except for the white. I'm just using Ecru. That's my favorite white to use for anything that has to do with snow. Okay, so there's that. And then these are some threads. I still have not found a good way to keep my threads that I'm currently using organized. Like that goes to my tiny modernist thing. Um, 
<laughs> my only two whips. I could have sworn I had more like whip stuff to show you and more cross-stitch stuff. I have this. I didn't start this. I don't know why this is still here. I really and truly don't want to start anything new. I know I'm going to. Um, until I finish like two projects. The Christmas tree farm, I could finish in a week. It's not a big piece to begin with. My uh, Christmas village, my hometown holidays, Christmas village, I could probably finish in the next two weeks. I don't have anything else that's gonna be close to a finish at all. Um, I need to start the next charity pattern. So I have it designed and it's gonna hopefully release October 1st. That's like eight days from now, I think. I think it's the 22nd today of September. So that will make me not able to work on other projects, which is fine. Um, but you know, I say I want another start like this and I'm going to start, I'm going to start my Egyptian shadow lane the second I get the fabric. That's going to take me like two years. So I'm, I'm going to start it. I really want to start smaller projects. I, I keep doing these really big projects and part of it's because I hate finishing and I was just seeing on Instagram, like Michelle Bendy and, um, it is Kismet Diana are doing a FFO weekend. And I wish I would have participated in that, but I hate FFOing things. I just hate it. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to whip parade is because I have a couple finished pieces that I still haven't FFO'd. And I'd like to see them again. And I can just show you guys. So I, I'm, I'm gonna try to do that this week. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll just include it in next week's video. So I just, finishing is hard. Like I, I, I've mentioned this before, you know, I work from home, I have two little kids, they nap. Well, my daughter does my son just says quiet time from two to three. So I have one hour during the afternoon and then they are both, she goes to bed at 7.30, he goes to bed at eight. So they're, or I take them upstairs then and we read and get them in bed. So they're both asleep by 8.30 and I work from 8.30 to 10.30. Um, and then I give myself a little bit of time to relax at night and I cross it for like an hour. So it's very difficult for me to get in. Okay, sorry about that. My son woke up and came in. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna to have to cut that off at, but basically it's very difficult for me sometimes to get time into stitch, let alone do anything else. That's where I was going with that. If I have an hour of free time at the end of the day, I am not gonna FFO something. I am just, I wanna relax and I wanna cross stitch. So anyways, I, I need to get, but that's why I like big pieces because something like this, you only have to frame it. You know what I mean? Like it's not one of the cutesy small ornaments that you add ribbons and gingham and whatnot to. You just frame it. And so I, that's why I like the big pieces, but I don't even frame them. So I have the threads picked for the charity pattern. It is fall colors. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. So like I said, I'm hoping to have that um, posted October 1st. So maybe I'll try to get it done by this week coming weekend so that I can show it on FlossTube first. And then I might go ahead and just post the pattern. If you want the current charity pattern, man, I should have had that up here too. It is a beautiful, I toot my own horn, it is a, a nice uh, Halloween trick or treat raven or crow, um, primitive in style, and it's in my Etsy shop, it's linked below. Okay, so one other little bit of shop news. I mentioned in Florida last week that I had uh, bought some fabric that was just absolutely perfect for my trip and I really wanted to make project bags with it. And so here it is. It is beach themed Christmas bag. I am obsessed. And this is going to be limited in quantity. I think I only have enough to make six of these. That's it. And I cannot find the fabric online anymore. So I just so happened to find this in a little quilt shop and I bought um, enough that I could make a couple bags. I'll probably keep one for myself. Look at how cute it is, the little flamingos. So I shop links below. I appreciate every single one of you who shops with me and supports my shop. I am absolutely so grateful that I have the shop and that I can help provide for my family and help pay for Disney. Help pay, I'm gonna pay for the whole thing. Cause my husband's like, we really can't afford it. And I was like, I know, but what if I paid for it? And he's like, if you paid for it, then of course we'll go. Well, mom's gonna pay for it. So I've got four more months and I've got it broken down to how much I need to save every month and put on it. And my friend, Christine, is my travel agent. If you guys ever need a travel agent, message me on Instagram and I will hook you up. She is 
amazing, has gotten me reservations at every single place I wanted, even though they were already booked up. She like stalks the page and gets them in for me, um, gets me the best deals, is she's been to the park so many times, she knows exactly when to go where, what fast passes to use. I don't have to do anything. It's so nice, I don't have to plan anything. Uh, okay, so a little bit of kind of related to Stitchy Kindness. I had sent out some giveaway patterns um, the week before I left for Florida, and someone sent me a little thank you in return. I should have taken it out of the packaging, but it was so cute. It's soap. She said that they were in the Rocky Mountains, and this is Rocky Mountain Soap Company, um, and she sent this to me, and I love it. Thank you so much. And it's patchouli, which I love the smell of, and mint, which I also love the smell of, and it's growing in my backyard. So, if I send you patterns, of course you don't have to send me anything in return, but if you do, I appreciate it, and I love it, and it makes me so happy when I get mail like this. My son's on the bed right now. Did you want to smell this? Okay, you can have that. <laughs> um, yeah, don't crinkle it too much though, because that's a really annoying sound on video. <laughs> that's probably not a good idea. Here, let me see that back, buddy. There is a heart. Here, I'll open it for you. How's that sound? Okay. It's very cute packaging. Uh, and so I have, I'm going to do the giveaway. Uh, and then that's all the stitchy stuff I have. I My garden has been doing amazing. And I need to do another garden update. It's, it's at the point of the season where we're harvesting everything. Oh, for me. Okay, I'm sorry. I know this is such a horrible noise. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, wow. Here, just smell it. Here. Okay, but don't make a mess with it. Here, I'm almost done. You just stay there for a few more minutes, okay? And we'll go wake up sister. Here. Yes, you can have the heart. There you go. You can play with you and your puppy. He brought his puppy poo in here. Um, the Hobby Lobby puppy. <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, the garden. Um, I'm harvesting everything and I have no idea what to do with it. I have like a hundred spicy peppers and I made like some of them are jalapenos, which I typically love, but these ones are so spicy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was, oh my, I said 50, 50 minutes in or something like that, but it's five minutes in. I was like, wow, have I really been talking for an hour? But no, uh, my son woke up early again too. I don't know why he woke up three times in the last two hours. <laughs> I hear the sound. Um... I, so I grew jalapenos and I tried them. They are so much spicier than store-bought. I can't even eat them. I'm, I have them in some sort of brine in the fridge for a month or two that's supposed to help so that they are not as spicy. We'll see. Um, I've got so many chilies and buena mulata peppers are beautiful. Um, oh yay, somebody messaged me back about some lessons. I just, I need, I, it, this has been the hardest part of gardening for me is what the heck do I do with everything? I've got tomatoes I have not turned red yet, and but we're, there's no frost on the forecast, so I, I'm hoping that we still have time because there's, I haven't gotten any tomatoes this year. I've gotten cherry tomatoes and that was it, and I want to be able to make yard sauce, like Priscilla and Chelsea. Uh, I have so much basil still. I harvested some and made pesto, or just made basil cubes, but I'm going to make some pesto this week. Uh, I've got corn. My daughter was eating just straight off the cob in the backyard the other day, and she was like laughing and rolling in the grass because I'm telling you guys, this girl on food, it is serious. Uh, so I'll, I'll do a garden update soon, probably my last one of the season, because I, I have pulled up about a third of my plants already. Uh, and I'll talk a little, I'll show off my harvest. Oh, I have that. Job's tears are so pretty, and pink beans, and dragon's tongue beans, and it's been amazing. I, I love gardening so much. Okay, so the giveaway for this week is this Halloween pattern. Now, if you remember about a month ago, I kind of accidentally spent like $100 on cross-stitch patterns on a D-stash sale because it was just, you know, plain by saying sold. So I, you know, sold, 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 not adding everything up. And then I had a heart attack when I got the PayPal invoice, but I knew that I could stitch them and resell them um, or use them as giveaways. So, and I haven't bought anything. I don't think any cross-stitch stuff since then like a month ago. So I've done my time. I used my gift card this, actually just this morning, uh, to order some other things. And anyways, so this is a pattern. I love this stuff. So it's Halloween and this house is so cute, but I just know I've got so much to stitch and I'm not going to get to it. And I want somebody else to get to it this, this year before Halloween. This would make the cutest ornaments, six ornaments. It's amazing. So in order to enter to win this charm, 
please comment below and tell me. Hey, no, there's bugs on me. There's bugs on you? That's kind of weird. No, bugs. Oh, bums. Oh, you might be cold. Um, please tell me the worst flight you ever had. If you didn't have one, maybe just tell me the worst car, car ride you ever had, particularly if it involves young kids and make me feel better. Oh, I didn't add also, as we were finally leaving the airplane and going to the car, she peed in the stroller as we were going to the car. So I was like, feel over the airplane, feel over the stroller, feel over her clothes, feel over my clothes. The end. I stripped her naked and put her in the car seat on the ride home. I was like, just please don't be in the car seat. She didn't, thank goodness. Um, so it, just to enter, comment below and just tell me the worst experience you've ever had in an airplane or a car. And if you don't really have any bad experiences with that, just tell me a funny story about your kids. And if you don't have kids, I don't know. Just tell me you want the chart. <laughs> um, I'm tired. And I haven't had my coffee yet. So, also, if you want to enter to win that, please be a subscriber. I am two away from hitting 4,000. Oh my God, my hands smell like patchouli. It smells so good. So next week, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to hit it sometime this week. I will have a special giveaway of a project bag that I will never, ever, ever sell. sell. It's going to be one of a kind. And it's going to be crafting related. I've had the fabric for like two months now. And I bought just a very small amount of it. And now this is what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to have a special giveaway next week. Hopefully show off my charity pattern. Um, I don't know if I'll, oh, maybe do whip parade. Next week's video is gonna be awesome. Uh, so be a subscriber, please. Like the video and then just comment below with a horrible car ride, flight experience, or any experience with kids. And if you don't have kids, I don't know. Tell me about your a horrible experience you've had. Everyone's had to have a horrible experience. But not like, don't get depressing on me. Horrible as in like they peed in public or they embarrass, like embarrassing. I'll say that, an embarrassing experience. I don't, I don't like, I don't like sad stuff. <laughs> I, I don't want anyone to have to like relive some sad memory to enter my contest. So we'll, we'll, we'll rephrase that to say embarrassing. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Um, I hope I can figure out how to splice these videos together because I've never had to do that before. <laughs> I'm learning some editing. I got real fancy last week and y'all saw my vacation photos at the end of that video. That was fun. We are doing nothing today and I am so excited. We are going to clean. I bought some stuff to clean my car really well. Um, catch up on laundry. Maybe mop the floors because the house is always pretty clean, but I don't like deep mop or deep clean the bathrooms. I'll probably do that today. And we're going to do lots of science experiments. We're going to put his little puppy carrier case together. Maybe pull out the loom. I don't know. Today? Yes, today. Um, go to the playground. You want to go to the playground? Yeah. What else? What do you want to do today? Cross. Do what? Cross you want to cross stitch? <laughs> Uh oh, he's coming apart already. He does like to cross stitch. It's so cute. I got him one of the plastic canvases, and he'll cross stitch with me. Oh, there was a feather on them. That's strange. Where did it come from? Hmm, it's a mystery. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm sorry if I seem like a hot mess today. Like I said, it's been a very, very, very long two weeks. I'm a little tired, about five hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, I guess I went to sleep at one. Um, hey, hey, stay right here, buddy. I don't show off your beautiful face. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, and I was crawling underneath me. I've, I've got some bags to catch up on. I have decided my schedule works out really well when I take, hey, hey, don't, no, don't knock on that, please. Um, I take Friday night to Saturday night off. So I work Friday afternoon still during their naps, but then I don't work again until today, Sunday. So it's a full 24 hours off, guilt-free, because it's very hard for me to take any time off when I have orders. I feel very bad. People are waiting on this. I never take more than a week to get anything out, ever. It's typically three days. If it's taking more than a week, I'll message someone. Either the fabrics I ordered is running late or there's something going on. Um, but it's very hard for me to take that time off, but I have to because otherwise I start to just go insane. 
I take care of kids all day. I don't have any breaks. I spend their nap and after bedtime working. Like I have to have just one night and one full day off. And I had that yesterday and now I feel very refreshed and I'm gonna get back to work today and get lots of bags done, hopefully. Um, yeah, so anyways, I should go. My son's getting antsy. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next weekend.